Hello and welcome back. In this section, we're going to talk about Salesforce career paths. Whatever it is that you'd like to do, Salesforce has a role for you. There are so many roles within the ecosystem that you will be hard pressed not to find what you're looking for. Now, the best place to find detailed information about Salesforce careers is on Trailhead. So let's head there now. So here we are on Trailhead and we're just on the careers tab. And what you can see is quite a bit of information. So we have information about job growth, we have information about salary expectations, and then we can also look at which career is right for you. Now, you could click into any of these for more information about the role. It'll also tell you about the career opportunities, the salary expectations, and then any useful skills for the role itself. You can read a brief day in the life of, and then there's a couple of real life stories of people in that role, and again, the suggested trailhead resources for you. I'll include a link for you and I would definitely recommend spending a couple of minutes reading through each career path just to really know what each one does and maybe to identify what it is that you'd like to do. But for this session, we're going to focus on a few of the main ones, the ones that you really need to know about for your certification exam. So the career paths that you really need to know about and just know what the job role entails are administrators, business analysts, developers, consultants, designers and architects. So what are Salesforce administrators? Well, they bring innovation to life. They bridge the gap between business requirements and technology. They automate complex business processes. They create reports and dashboards and they train users on Salesforce. So a couple of key duties that you might see is setting up orgs, user management, security configuration, data access configuration, customizing objects and fields, creating automation such as flows or approval processes, and then a wide range of other duties. Next, we have Salesforce business analysts, and these identify key insights and they map out winning business strategies. They're able to think through problems and make actionable recommendations. And a lot of their roles tend to include requirements gathering, customer workshops, business process analysis, looking at the as is state versus the to be state and how to get there, and then also documentation. Next, we have Salesforce developers. Now, Salesforce developers automate repetitive tasks. They utilize code such as Apex to create simple and elegant solutions. And you'll often see them carrying out org customization. Generally, they're very skilled in declarative configurations such as flows or approval processes, but they also have the added bonus of being able to carry out programmatic configuration. That's Apex, Triggers, and Lightning Web Components. Then we have Salesforce consultants, and this is quite a wide ranging role from functional to technical. Functional consultants lead and support the customer through the entire Salesforce implementation, including an analysis, design and development. Technical consultants develop a deep understanding of cloud solutions and implement specialized backend changes to a customer's Salesforce setup. So as a consultant, this is what you can expect to do. Carry out implementation, gather requirements, a bit of analysis, designing solutions, carrying out specialized changes. As we've already said, there's two types, functional and technical, but consultants always follow the Salesforce best practices and they do carry out a wide range of duties. Then we have Salesforce designers, and these are broadly split between user experience designers who optimize flows, interactions, and visual interfaces. And that just creates human centered experiences which are built on the Salesforce platform. And then we have strategy designers who frame design challenges. They develop clear strategic visions and they roadmap Salesforce solutions that create value for all stakeholders. And then we have architects. Now architects take pride in designing systems that stand up to anything. They can see issues before they even become issues, even when scaling from one to a million customers. Salesforce architects are the most trusted digital advisors and respected team leaders in the ecosystem. There are also other Salesforce careers. So if you prefer working in sales, marketing or service, there is a career for you as well. 